One of the critical questions facing the world at this moment is whether it is inevitable that the globe will be divided into two trading blocks. The United States, Europe and allies on the one side, China, Russia and uh, Sino allies on the other. I want to get a sense from uh, this panel here at the World Economic Forum on A, how they see global uh, trade tensions and India's role. Ideally, we'd like to keep China on site uh, because of what's happening along the line of actual control. That may not be in our control. Sanjeev Bajaj, I'll start with you. Do you uh, how are you viewing these growing trade tensions and the fear that the world, far from going towards greater globalization, could be split into camps where you trade with the allies in regional trade treaties? The reality, Rahul, in the last five, seven years is we have seen uh, pressures to a globalized common world uh, ever since the Second World War. We've seen the benefits of that. Uh, as you're saying, possible two trade groups may come about. This is really driven by as much by people and domestic politics as it is by global geopolitics as well. And that's why it's very difficult to... Um, try and forecast where it will head. What we should do as a country is to know that if this happens, what's the best position we can put ourselves to gain the maximum out of it? Because the more this How happens... How should we gain from the uh, geopolitical dynamics as they very, play themselves very, very clearly the larger block, which is the Western block and even the Southeast Asian block, mm -hmm. will look for opportunities from countries like India to create that manufacturing base, to create that alternative to China. It's going to take a while to do it, but they will be looking at us and each step we take in the right direction will take us closer towards being that strong partner to them for, as Amitabh said earlier, not for five years, for the next three decades. That's our window of opportunity and really it's only for us to lose.